Yes, in the back, please. Uh, my name is Professor Yeo So from Pohang University of Science uh, Technology, Post-Tech Korea. And, uh, you know, inside uh, we claim we are the Caltech of Korea. Yeah, uh -huh. And, and uh, <laughs> think that we are sisters also. Yeah. Uh, my question is, the, I think the size problem, uh, the issue is always the uh, uh, issue in, in Korea that uh, uh, our size is similar to the size of Caltech. But we understand that if you look at the MIT and Stanford University, there are students, num I think total number of students more than 10,000 as opposed to probably uh, Caltech, which has like uh, 3,000 students. Yeah, 2,000. Uh, and uh, 2,000 or something, you know. Uh, and then uh, <coughs> uh, we understand elite uh, university is good for that. Uh, uh, but however, uh, in terms of uh, social influence and, and contribution, uh, there is a certain critical mass uh, for universities. So we have a continuing challenge inside Korea that Postdoc has to increase the number of students and number of faculty. So how can uh, Caltech deal with that kind of size versus quality problem? Thank right. You. So, so yeah. size, Thank you. size. Oh, I'm sorry. Good. Go uh, size is a major concern. There's no question, and and a strategy uh, for us. So the limits, from my perspective, uh, of being too big or too small is that, of course, if you lose two or three people in a particular field and you're out of business, then you're too small. But one of the aspects of Caltech that makes it special is that we are small enough that everybody talks to everybody else. We have a culture where people keep their doors open. We are organized in a way uh, that we have divisions, not departments. So physics, math, and astronomy are together. Biology and biological engineering are together. And we have institutes that cut across those boundaries. If we get too big, we lose that. By the way, I'll say as a Chicagoan, the fact that it doesn't snow helps also in terms of the interactions <laughs> between people who can always be outside and, and connecting to each other. Uh, so we have chosen a certain niche. I don't expect Caltech will get that much better with you know, modulo 10%, uh, get that much bigger. And we then emphasize uh, what, what I tried to underscore in the talk is a certain cultural aspect that lets us do big things. But we don't play everywhere. And we do not compete across the spectrum of professional schools. We have no medical school, law school, business school, public policy school, because that's not what we can do at our size. We also don't educate a large share of the population. We believe that those that we educate have outsized influence, but we are not a substitute for public education in the United States. And it is a great concern to us, actually, in terms of continued government, government support of public education, because we, we cannot fill that, that uh, concept. So th there's, there's a tight balance that way, I agree. But for us, we would no longer be Caltech, uh, say, if we doubled in size. From an educational perspective, what we offer with a three to one student faculty ratio, and I understand that's not scalable to all places, is the ability of our students to become immersed in research, to get to know faculty members really well. And that's our competitive advantage. And if we give that up, then we don't stand out in any particular way. So th those are kind of the cross currents um, that we've identified, but, but you're quite right. There are limitations then in what we can do because of size. Another question, please? Yes, 